Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM, and today we're going to take a look at the start of 2037, 2038. I am already halfway through a match. Um, I thought I'd come in anyway, because um, uh, I need to show you the transfers, and also um, I'm going to do a little bit of work on um, hiring some staff for our coaching team. So I thought I'd show you the, the match we're playing uh, currently. I normally do it the other way around, like I start at the start of the match, and... Um, but and show you some stuff before, but I thought might as well jump in. I wasn't going to start recording now, but I thought, oh, I'm, I might as well jump in and um, and do this match. So this is a match for the league. Let me just work on the half time. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm gonna uh, just show you the goals that we've had so far, so you don't miss those. And also, I need to remember to show you the sponsored new gin, which I tend to forget sometimes. Um, I haven't actually looked at, at him, at Robip, since the... Um, before the transfer window. I had a, a small look at him um, before the transfer window, but now... Let's see if he's still at PSG, some, sh shall we? That's a great goal from Jean Gomes. Okay. Right, so let's do that before I forget. I tend to get distracted and forget about. He's still a PSG. He must have had a new contract because his value doubled. He's contracted until 42. Uh, yeah, so last year he did well. So yeah, it seems like he's doing okay. Seems like he's doing okay. That's not him. That's him. Um, yeah, so sponsored Nugent. If you want to sponsor a Nugent, what I do, um, depending on the subscription that you uh, sign up to on Patreon, I either assign the uh, best available Nugent in the senior squad, or if you have a lower subscription, I'll assign the best available in the youth squads. And then we follow the story of that Nugent. Uh, for as long as we carry on playing FM24, which it seems to be for a while still, and then your subscription will just, will just um, transfer to the new game anyway. So I'll name a, a new gen after you as soon as they become available in the new game, and then follow their stories as well in FM25. So um, yeah, we'll just continue that way. And also, if your new gen retires at any point, I'll choose a new one as well. So. Uh, if they if they don't if they don't take on a coaching a coaching role, right? So let's go back into the match and play the second half. We have just come off the back of the Carabao Cup game. We won that that uh, against Middlesbrough. Uh, I don't think we played much else before. Actually, let me have a quick look at the schedule. What have we played? Community Shield, we won 3-0 against Tottenham. I was really surprised about that. Because, well, we lost to them a lot last year. And we had one loss against Chelsea, a victory against Millwall, and a draw against Aston Villa so far for the league. Uh, we don't have that many new players, but if you pay close attention to the game as it is playing out now, you might notice that I've made a tactical change. So, I took the opportunity that we're going to carry on playing this game until March, so it's still going to be a long time, and the fact that a couple of our defenders were not up to scratch anymore, so I sold Emerson Pereira, and uh, uh, the other guy, I can't remember his name now. Let's have a look quickly at uh, transfers out. So I'll sold Emerson Pereira to um, one of the Saudi clubs, and they also Ilya sold him as well out there. And took the I uh, took the fact that these two were not no longer up to scratch, and also. Uh, we didn't have a second um, DR, so defender right, uh, um, to make a tactical change. So what I did was change this role to a fullback because uh, where is he? Uh, Anthony can play it. He can play it well. 
Um, so, and he was the only one left. Alfonso is new, as you can tell. Uh, and I condensed down the defenders to two. So I just kept uh, Velinov and I kept Fairman. Uh, got rid of the wide center back, which is why I also got rid of the inverted fullback. And I decided to go with a second midfielder because we were lacking a little bit in that in that position, and that makes our tactic way more balanced. Um, so hopefully that will help out. But it did mean I had to invest quite a bit in midfielders. Um, to be fair, a lot of them are good. There's one guy who's not so good, but he's only a backup anyway. So we've got four of them. Two main main, main guys. Um, a backup and a backup to the backup, if you see what I mean. So that guy is the backup to the backup. So that should be alright. Uh, yeah, so we have uh, no changes in our goalkeepers. We still have Diego Zupel and Owen Goodman. Uh, as I said, there's a new defender right, uh, David Alfonso. I'll show you in a bit. Uh, the same to defend the left, so we still have Matthew Anderson and Marco Ohana. Um, we just talked about Velinov and Ferma for the, the centre back position. Uh, I did sell Harada, the Japanese player, and got myself um, another Nugent called Simon Tipple for the no nonsense centre back position. Um, so that will be interesting, I hope. Uh, what should we go with here? Bus seven. Yeah, this guy is again not very good, but it's what we could do with the money. We spent our money, most of our money, we spent it on. No, oh, he's injured, so he's not here. I'll show you in a minute. A midfielder uh, that is currently injured, so that's why we didn't have much money for much for much else. To be fair, but that's okay. Uh, Hernandez, that's the backup to the backup. Uh, Ming, we could have Simon step in. I think that is it. Yeah. Okay, let's confirm and carry on. Yeah, we have one new um, defender midfielder. Uh, two new um, midfielders uh, for the um, central midfielders with Luigi De Martino coming back to the first team. He was away on loan for a bit. Uh, the same to... Uh, basically, the, the attack is all the same. Uh, AMR, M -L -A -M -M AML, and also the striker position. Except, Gordon Joseph went ahead and... Um, uh, without even me realizing, I only realized <laughs> when I went to... Um, a look at uh, potential new strikers, and I f and I realized that Gordon jo Joseph had left. I had I'd never realized he had left. He left at some point in the summer. I can't tell you when, because I it completely went unnoticed. Uh, so yeah, Gordon Joseph, our uh, wonder kid from last year, went and joined Rangers, and he's they stuck him in the under twenty ones. They they're not even playing him in the first team. How dumb is that? Right, so, uh, which meant I had to promote another striker up, so we have Oktay Selik, um, one of our Turkish uh, young players from the academy. So he's there, he's only a backup, because, to be fair, Valentino Torres is going to play the whole time, isn't he? He's the only one Torres gets tired, uh, that we will play some anyone else. <laughs> Skip that. I still have a cold, so I recorded uh, Thursday's episode yesterday, and this is Monday's episode. Um, so I'm uh, making the most of being ill at home without anything else to do. Very sadly, not able to do anything, but I can still play this from the comfort of my house. So, let's have a look at the new squad in more detail then. Um, and then I want to take a look at, I haven't done any, any c coach um, hire, so um, let's have a look. Let's start like this. Owen, Go uh, Owen Goodman, 
Uh, I bought him a few years ago, a couple of years ago, last year, last year, uh, as a spare, and he ended up being, you know, pretty much our best goalkeeper. To be fair, they are very comparable, Owen Goodman and uh, where's Diogo Zupel? Diogo Zupel, they're quite comparable. Diogo Zupel is obviously the goalkeeper for the future. He's going to be our goalkeeper for many, many years to come. Uh, hopefully, if I can keep him. Uh, and if I don't find anyone better. This guy will probably retire in a couple of years' time. Maybe three years' time. Who knows? Uh, on the right side, we have a new guy, Alf uh, uh, David Alfonso. More of a backup, really. But, uh, yeah, so he's been around, though. England, Scotland, USA, and so on. Obviously, we still have Anthony, like I just showed you. He's been with us for a fair while now. Um, then... Relinov is probably our longest standing player at the moment, I think. Relinov and Fahman. He's very young still. It feels, feels, it feels like he's been with us for ages, but he, yeah, and he has for four years. But he's so young still. Lots and lots to give still to the club. Um, so, Linda... Oh, actually, he might be... Yeah, he's once he's been with us one season more than uh, Velimov. Yeah, so he's still with us. We sold Harada, our. Um, I'll show you the exits in a minute, but yeah, sold Harada, and I. Did I, I didn't sell Harada. I think Harada's contract came to an end, and I just didn't renew it. Um, and instead, I got Simon Tipple, twenty-seven years old, from Birmingham. Um, very expensive too, probably too expensive, I guess, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, left side, we still have Matthew Anderson, it, we, he needs to be replaced so soon, I just didn't have the money to invest. And the same thing goes for Marco or Hannah, although he's still young, so he could still improve. Uh, we still have Jean Gomes, he'll retire, I'm guessing, this year, because he's 36, and he's dropping off a the edge of a cliff. As far as physicals, um, and the backup isn't much better. Where is he? Matar Besene, Besene, 29 years old. So I'm guessing next year I have to look at this position and look for some younger players that can fill these boots. Papa Kamara is our main mid midfielder, I would say. Obviously, our main midfielder uh, retired. Last year, last summer, I can't even remember his name anymore. That's so bad. Uh, but yeah, so Papa has become our main midfielder. Luigi De Martino has been promoted again. Oh, looks like he, I thought he was on loan, but he must have been just be hanging out on under 21 last year. Anyway, so he's our second, third midfielder. Uh, actually, he's probably going to be our main midfielder. Actually, thinking about it, the new midfielder and most definitely our main midfielder now. Once he comes back from injury. He hasn't really played. That's why I'm like not too sure. So he is only 25. We spent a huge amount of money on him. Uh, biggest transfer ever in our club. And he's been at Lazio. Man City for a few years. Then he went to Fulham on loan. Eventually Fulham bought him over. And uh, now I bought him over from Fulham. So I'm hoping he'll do good things for us. And then our backup to the backup, Enzo Fernandez, is going to just retire happily with us. Uh, he's got a lot of experience. You might recognize him in real life from being at Benfica and Chelsea. Um, and yeah, we just got him for free. So um, just there, just to kind of back up. He's got a lot of experience. He's got a lot to give to the club in that, in that sense. Uh, on the right side, I've got a few in all of the injuries really uh, at the front. Alejandro Lorenzo, still from us, uh, for, uh, with us from a long time ago, and I trusted Ben Hames as well. On the left side, Kenny Lawless, our, our um, vice captain, and also uh, Julio Aguilar, who joined us from Benfica a few seasons ago. And at the top, Valentin Torres, um, our striker. And the backup, um, just here to make sure that 
we don't break the rules for Europe is Octai... I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm, I'm gonna say Selikimaz. Selikimaz. He's not very good by any means. He has the potential to be good though, so maybe being in the first team will help him to develop. But yeah. Um, there we go. Gordon Joseph. I can't believe Gordon Joseph left for Rangers. He was developing really well. And somehow it went under the radar. Obviously didn't renew his contract, it must have been. And it completely went under the radar. And I didn't notice he left. Um, so he was... Oh, that's interesting. He was bought by Rangers B. And then Rangers B gave him to Rangers. And he's now in Rangers under 21. He's the only player... Oh my god, Gordon Joseph. What did you go and do? You could have been playing in the Champions League with our club to be fair that's my bad because I didn't notice he uh, Rangers have offered him a contract anyway so uh, transfers out then other than Emerson Pereira who went to play in Saudi Arabia and also Elia who also went to play in Saudi Arabia uh, by the way it looks like we might have Saudi Arabia leagues in the new FM. That would be quite exciting to as playable leagues. Gordon Joseph, uh, he was a young player that we didn't really care about. Niall Nolan again on loan, out. And Zach Crother, we sold him as well. He was hanging out in the end of tw 21s anyway for a while, so we just decided to cash in and sell him and get some extra cash because we needed all the cash we could get um, to get our transfers done. And we have no money left at all. Um, as far as facilities, we are going to move into a new stadium next summer. Uh, our training facilities were dropped. Um, so we are working on an improvement. So if you go to Club Vision, Board, and Ongoing. So we got the... Stadium is going to be finished in 10 months and the new training facilities will be finished in 3 months. There we are. Finance wise, yeah. Uh, once we start playing Champions League, that will go up. Um, there we go. So, now, I explained scouting last year, so just to give you a quick overview. One thing that I forgot to do is when I was doing my usual looking for players uh, for the summer transfers, I forgot to set my scouting range, so he was still stuck on Europe. But as it, as it turns out, it didn't make a difference. We didn't have any better players out there, outside, anyway. And because we, sco we scout far and wide, they are within our knowledge anyway. So if they are within our knowledge, it doesn't matter what the scouting range is, it will still include all of the players within our knowledge base. Now, I also have more scouts, and look, I'm scouting everywhere. Everywhere that is scoutable in the world, I am covering. And yeah, so if we're looking for world knowledge, uh, we're going to have quite nice world knowledge. We completed North America. Wow, that's cool. Let's look for nations. So that is the nation by nation knowledge that we have. We're missing a few nations still, but hopefully. We will um, have some knowledge. Maybe these nations that we're missing um, aren't really um, scoutable in the in the game. Maybe they don't have databases for those nations. I don't. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. Okay. Now let's jump into hiring the coaches. So if I look at the staff um, dashboard, all my numbers have been filled except coaches because I haven't looked at that yet. Including for the under 18s, sorry, the under 21s. The under 18s lacking a bit because they don't need quite as many um, because they can use the under 21s coaches as well, I think. So we'll we'll look at that in a minute. Now, if I go back to the Hereford staff and look at all, we've got all of this staff that needs contract um, renewals and also a couple of extra coaches for the senior team as well. Hope, hopefully. Well, it doesn't mean we'll need it, but maybe we will. Uh, now, if you go to training, training, and I want to look at 
uh, actually I still I want to do this as well because now we have the entire club and this will change because obviously when we have the weekly meetings people give me suggestions and it will change and let me rem while I'm here Ooh, these are huge groups let's do that and then he starts it all over again I don't think he can do that for this no starts the mentoring all over again but then with the weekly meetings more people might get added so that's okay Look at coaches, we're going to go to the coach board, I'm going to remove everyone and I'm going to start assigning, um, I think this guy can do both, yeah, cool, I'm going to start assigning, um, things, I think I'm going to do, I think this guy can do this one, yeah. And the aim is to get light on everything, which obviously depends on the routine for that week. So it's not like a, this one's better, this one's even better. So I don't necessarily need this guy. Okay. Um, can, can move these guys around, I guess. Some of these guys like we can move around with. Didn't miss anyone out that I know. Okay, can move him around. Uh, he's better than him. I can't take these guys out. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, just carry on. No. Okay. I don't need him. In fact, I could do that, but not him. <laughs> Light. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. And obviously, I always put myself in whatever is the smallest, this one, smallest star rating. Now, uh, I wish I could. Sh oh, maybe I can. Let's um. Let's put this screen on, and I'm gonna write some notes on here so you can kind of see where my process is. Uh, so let's go back. Let me just press OK now. Let's go back to the staff board. So I need to replace in the first team uh, a fitness coach, and it's Stuart. Oops. Uh, this is a title. Coaching coaches. Fitness coach and is Stuart Bell. A coach Gary Davenport. Port coach Cody. And I usually do this on paper, but and then two more coaches if needed. Okay. And then, and the 21s, we need a goalkeeping coach, fitness coach, 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 coach. Okay, and then it is Alex Ramsey, um, Patrick Orm, Matt Bloomfield. Uh, Andrew Rams Bottom. It's a very funny name. Louise uh, Gerard Simon Welsh Tom Randall and Aaron Hughes. Okay, so we've got all of our coaches. If I go back to that training board, training screen, let's look for these names. So, uh, we've got a coaching, so he does handling, handling, uh, okay, then we've got two fitness coaches, Stuart Bell, and home okay that's fine um, okay and then we got 
Gary. Gary does tactical, so defense tactical, defense tactical, and Cody does, well he can do whatever he wants really, don't even need him, let's leave him blank for now. And then, uh, what have we got? Tom Randall doesn't do anything, Rams Bottom don't need him, Aaron Hughes attacking technical. Attacking technical. Louis Gerard don't need him. Patrick uh, Paddy McCarthy doesn't need a contract. Graham doesn't need a new contract. Bloomer he does possession tactical, so that's mental tactical. Uh, where's Matt? Matt. Mental tactical. <laughs> And that's it, Simon Walsh don't need him. Okay, now let's do the other teams and we'll do the same process. See if any any of this got any of these guys change what we need them for. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, so these also get trained by the first team. Hmm. That was different. Oh wait, did I see it wrong? Uh, coaches. Gary Davenport. Maybe I got it wrong. Oh yeah, defending technical, not tactical. Okay, right. Um, pa, 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 pa. Then this guy. This guy makes it light. Actually, we can do that and not. But uh, Christian Chu doesn't need a contract, so that's why. Spencer. See, he in this one we need Randall because Randall needs to look. Oh, wait, maybe we don't if we go down. Okay, let's leave Randall on for now. I'm spot up, don't need him. And you kind of get the idea. So I look to see which guys we don't need. Which guys we need and where. Bearing in mind that they work across several squads. So, what am I missing here? So, I'm still gonna do that. So, here we go. So, we've got. Let me just see which coaches we didn't use, because some of them they might not need a contract. Cody Flynn doesn't need a contract, so that's fine. Uh, I mean, he needs a contract, so that's fine. Jay Race isn't named. We've got two guys at the top. Okay, so fine. So they can be used for other things. So maybe they can be used for this. And this guy can be used for that. There we go. R Randall doesn't need a contract. But, 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 uh, okay. That's fine. And then Louis Gerard. And we need him. And we need him for defense technical. Okay, uh, Patty. Uh, Graham. Bloomsfield. Uh, this guy also. So, what can we use this guy for? Maybe for this? Okay, so get this guy out. Don't need him. Uh, what about Simon Welsh? Don't need him either. Okay, we still kick, we carry on needing Matt Bloomfield and Aaron Hughes. 
okay so that's fine got light everywhere and that me also means I can um, if everything is light I don't need as many coaches so so that's fine we don't we don't need to worry about that now let's look at the under 18s now so mentoring sorry not mentoring coaches uh, and now we don't have the first team coaches anymore uh, we only have the under 21s coaches so this might change everything so let's just put the management in first there we go so that's all the management and then we have oh then him and then we have the two coaching things we don't have set pieces which probably means I'll tick after that and we got the fitness and now here we start um, Randall Randall at the moment we need him for attacking tactical attack tactical Ram's bottom we currently need him for uh, mental technical mental technical Aaron Hughes he's needed anyway uh, Louis Gerard I think there's another guy that can look after that so we'll leave him Paddy Graham uh, Bloomfield he's already in our plans Jizu can look after this so we don't need to can keep Louis Gerard and we got Simon Welsh uh, what can he look after Simon Welsh um, that or that it's even there for now Simon Welsh might not need him and then we have that and that is there any up here we don't need okay no okay so we don't necessarily need these well we do because 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 we could use them we could use one of these guys to relieve Simon Welsh uh, any guys up here we don't need so I'm in Welsh, who else can we relieve? Tom Randall. So attacking tactical. See if any of these guys can do that. This guy can do it pretty well. So we don't need Randall. So let's take that away. Uh, we just leaves us with this guy. And Oh, looks like this guy can do. He's the only guy that can do this, so maybe I can relieve one of the other guys. So Adam, I think it's Ram's bottom. Where's Ram's bottom? Ram's bottom there. Technical. So if I take this guy out and put myself in, we don't need him anymore. And set pieces are fine, at least they are for the under 18s. I don't, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, and then this guy's needed anyway, so might as well stick him on something. Stick him on this. There we go. Fine. So that means I only have to. I only have to worry about the fitness coaches. Whoops. Uh, and the goalkeeping coaches and Gary Davenport, Matt Bloomfield and Aaron Hughes. I need to replace those, but I don't actually need to fill the rest of the vacancies. Um, so I can just leave it like that, which means we can save some money and we, I'm all about saving the money. So if I go back to staff, all, I'm going to start by um, actually, if I go, I'm going to start with the staff search and go to coach and uh, pick, yeah, pick and we're going to start with fitness 
coaches make sure I'm in the senior squad I am and go to coaching fitness there we go uh, oh the other way see if I get hmm oh wait fitness coach that's it Okay, it looks like our fitness coach can be replaced with this guy, David Watts. And who has a fitness of 18, while our fitness coach has a fitness of 17. Okay. Approach the sign. Fitness coach. There we are. Okay, so we've got him. Um and it looks like I'm saying kiss uh, what can I say uh, what's the symbol for there we go square root why not um, the other one it will work on the under 21 so let's take that out okay it's the same guy so let's just renew the contract so I'm gonna say under 21s I'm gonna offer slightly less Okay, done. Now, um, so that that's done and that's done. Let's look at the goalkeeping side of things. So it's a goalkeeping coach. I want to look at handling. So that's handling and distribution. And for the under 21s, I'm also going to change this to handling and distribution. Okay, we can either go for, oh, this guy's really good at distribution. Yeah, let's keep him. Let's renew the contract for Alex Ramsey. Okay, that's done. Next up, defending technicals. So let's go back to coach. And we're gonna go for defending. Uh, defending and let me include senior staff on this defending t -t 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 -t. defending technical okay so we've got Simon Welch so where's Gary Davenport Gary Davenport is there Simon Welsh actually doesn't have very good technical, so I'm gonna go with Gary Davenport again. Oh, actually, was this guy? Yeah, and this guy is very much. Oh, this guy is very good. All over the place. Let's, let's try and hire him. Approach to sign. He's very expensive, but I think very good. Okay. Um. We might keep Gary anyway. We'll see. Cross that bridge when it comes to it. Mental technical ta tactical. Oh, actually, let's go for attack first. So attack, and we're gonna go with attack, and it's technical. And we need to look for under um, under eighteens. And uh, there he is, right at the top. So we'll renew the contract. Oh wait, this is not the same guy that I wanted to renew the contract. Hmm, interesting. And try attacking and technical. Why am I deciding to keep Aaron Hughes? What's make what what makes him better? Nothing makes him better. Okay, I'm keeping this guy instead. I think they are very much the same. Okay. Um, yeah, that's so weird. Why? Why am I keeping the other guy? Coaches, coaches. Um, no, where is it? 
you. Oh, because this guy is bizarre. Uh, but he can probably play the... Yeah, look. Yeah, let's keep this guy. Okay, and... Finally. Uh, mental tactical. So, we're going to go with... Mental. And we're going to go... Mental. And tactical. For the in routines again. And let's see what comes up. So at the moment, we're hoping to keep Matt Bloomfield. But this guy is in fact better. So let's go for him. Uh, I want you to be... An under 21's coach. And the reason I'm going specifically for under 21's is so we can have cover for the under 18's. Um, I could have just hired, looked for senior squad. Um, people that are interested in um, senior squad coaching. But actually, under 21's can do both. So one of the tips that I can give you is that if you're hiring um, coaches, actually max out your under 21s if you can before you max out your senior squad because then you have cover you actually save money on staff by having cover for both the under 21s uh the under 18s and the senior squad uh that means uh, i'm gonna do, do this exercise exercise again in a couple of weeks uh, not on, in a recording and the reason for that is I want to see if, with a different training layout, um, if the needs change, if there's any tweaks I need to do. So I'm not going to fire anyone right now. I'm going to just let the contract renewals go. And then I'm going to look for a week where the training set schedule is really rich, really heavy. Um, and then I can see if there's any other additional coaches that I might need. Um, and then finalize the squad. But yeah, the aim is that I want to have everything light and as good as, as many stars as I can um, and then f start firing coaches that are surplus um, the reason for that is you can save a bit of money that way okay this is a very very long episode already we're running into 42 minutes um, probably the biggest episode ever so thank you so much for watching until the end really 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 appreciate it and hopefully this will giving you a couple of tips for what you can do if you're not too confident on hiring coaches and so on. So take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.